Hey everyone, another video here, and good news, I was accepted to the YouTube Partner Program, so now I can earn income through YouTube. Granted, you know, my lower subscribers and lower views, I'm not going to be getting rich or anything off of it. Uh, they're estimating, like, maybe, maybe 10 bucks a month, <laughs> but, you know... It's a start. Everybody starts somewhere. I mean, you, you don't just jump into it right off the bat and get in there. But I, I am I'm happy. I am ecstatic. Uh, here we are today. Uh, this is this is uh, I'm going back to a review of something that I purchased back in February. Uh, it's this one's currently you know not available but you can go through because this this was the ryzen 9 uh 680 and this this is the exact same uh one that i have but uh different uh new post for it uh i do have this the 690 i purchased the the 512 and 32 gig uh but I changed all that. Uh, I cloned, I cloned the uh, the hard drive from, or the yeah, the hard drive from the 512 to uh, one terabyte. Then uh, I added two 64 gig uh, uh, Yeah, the solid states for my my memory. I, I, I upgraded the hell out of it. I added extra terabytes. I mean, I I currently have five five terabytes or more of memory. It's super fast. I mean these these things are not gonna be you know, pushing out the major, major games. That's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna, you know, be the all, you know, all powered, you know, end all of gaming PCs. This is something your kids playing Fortnite, you're, you're playing Call of Duty, you're playing uh, Battlegrounds, you're, you're playing games like that. That's what it's gonna be for. I mean, I've got a ton of games. I've, I've got like, I've got like 150 games saved on here. Uh, I have an entire terabyte of games. Just, just all the, the the downloads. An entire terabyte of just games. Uh, there's a lot going on, but I just wanted to update people on the system. Y'all know that I was having issues with uh, controllers and how they they would freeze up and they would drift and they would cause issues and and whatnot. And you know, it was it was just a endless battle where you know middle of the game it would start to drift and you know it was really upsetting to me. Well, I I found a fix for it. You have to go into your actual computer system, pull up the, the, the hardware, everything. Your, your entire computer um, management system. Uh, what is it? Let's see. Yeah. Device manager. You have to go into your device manager and you open all of this stuff up. You, you check all of these. Uh, Bluetooth kept going off and, and stuff and you turn the computer off and it wouldn't be there when you turned it back on and then all of a sudden you turn it on one day and then it would be back. Absolute nightmare. I found that that was actually because of the, the newest Windows update. They had messed something up and then they came back and fixed it. But once they came back and fixed it, I went through and checked for updates on all these drivers. Uh, the USBs. Uh, USB controller hubs. I went through and checked all the hubs. All my good hubs, they had like a timeout on them. 
Uh, the, there's there's the two the two on the front here. These would randomly turn off. It was something to do with uh, the power conservation thing that's set up in the use the device manager hub here and turned it all off so that these are you know constant on there's I, I don't need them shutting off on me or resetting or where they where you're running them and then all of a sudden you turn it off and it was just it was driving me nuts it really was but figured that out now now i run the games i have no issues with the the controllers uh getting fucked up turning off you know i'm looking and then all of a sudden i'm spinning or i can't move i can't shoot and i'm stuck somewhere uh i still have issues with this controller this controller still uh will randomly stop when it's on uh, Bluetooth and I found that it was because there is there's a bad um, there's a bad conductor in here or diode or some something uh, this is on a recall list uh, at least this uh, serial number is on recall uh, I'm possibly going to get a new one and but you know I have my old controller, and this one I am using on my Invisicord here. So, as long as I have this, I'm doing good. Because uh, now I can run the corded one, uh, the Bluetooth. It will work, uh, but when I'm playing and it starts to uh, starts to flicker, if if the light go uh flickers like three times really fast if i press the that three line button right as it right after it happens if i press that button it'll it'll continue working it's something to do with the internals of it so that's good but the ace magician people were freaking out saying oh ace magician it's got uh all kinds of, of uh, bugs in it. It's got uh, hackware. Well, it didn't have hackware. It was the programming for the uh, RGB colors. Uh, when you get it and you put on all this, uh, you know, your whatever, your uh, anti, you know, software shit and you just you you get all all that in there and then you run all these diagnostics and then all of a sudden bells and whistles are going off and it's like oh you've got a virus you've got spyware it's it's the rgb controller uh like i did with mine i turned mine on i didn't like that every time you turned on the computer that thing would pop up and then you'd have to set everything and then you exit out and it's like I hated doing that. I don't care. I, I honestly, I hate lights on keyboards. I hate lights on gaming systems. I, I am for the monitors. The monitor. The monitor. The monitor. I, I am. That's that's what I'm trying to focus on is monitors. I don't need a blinking light out of my peripherals. I don't need a blinking light underneath me causing me distraction down below. I'm trying to focus on what's ahead and what's over here. I I don't need all this stuff. I, I it, it bugs me. It really does. I don't even like the fact that I have to have a light over here just so you know, I don't bump into the table or the desk in the middle of the night. I hate the fact that I have it here because there's no way to turn it off. Uh, it's just it's just there it drives me nuts but that's that's manageable red blue green you know lights just flickering and, and anytime you push a button it do, 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 do. anytime anything's it's running it's it's doing all this stuff i hated that so i uh locked it away in, in a, a program took it out of, of, of it. it 
It's no longer operable. It can't be worked, it cannot be turned back on. And now there's no lights or anything that tell me how, how the machine's working. So I don't I don't have that anymore. And I love that. I love it. I I am I am basic when it comes to a PC. I don't need the bells and whistles and, and the lights and the flickers. I don't need, you know, a big tower where you can see through and all the the bubbly lights and whatnot. I don't need that. Uh, basic computer, basic PC, something for uh, 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 somebody starting off gaming, kids gaming. These are are fantastic. Hundred and or four hundred and fifty bucks, and you got a Ryzen nine. I mean, that is fast. Uh, I can do a lot of stuff faster than a buddy of mine. Uh, Slother, he's he's having a hard time streaming uh, between two platforms at once. Uh, his computer's slightly uh, slower than this one, and his is just a gigantic tower. I mean, it's massive. Uh, he needs an up upgrade. He's working on it. Uh, this, this was my upgrade because I was working on a uh, 10 year old, uh, 10 year old, uh, computer, I think it was. It was, I think it was a Vivo. Yeah. 2018. And this, yeah, wow. That was, it wasn't even that old. Wow. Oh, this was the replacement that I bought. Yeah, the original Viva book that I had was a, a 20... I bought it in 2014, and I got that at Walmart. That one went to shit, and this one was the one that I bought to replace it. But even this one, even this one was a good computer. It was good for World of Warcraft most of the time, but World of Warcraft took up a lot of space on it. Uh, the... The RAM on it was only 8 gigs. I bumped that up to the uh, maximum, which was 32, and it, it just soared after that. So I was, I was happy about that. But now I'm back to the actual PC. Uh, this one's similar to what I have, but this is uh, only to Ryzen 7. Uh, Ace Magic has all these uh, mini PCs and everything. Uh, let's see, Core 9, Core 9, Ryzen 7, uh, uh, even this one, you got uh, Ryzen 7. See, you, you, they, they have so many of these little mini PCs. If, if you're in a small apartment, if you're, hey, if you are one of those van life people, and you want to run a PC, there you go. I mean, this takes up very little space. I mean, I've got multiple monitors, cameras, I've got gear, and I'm only in maybe four foot by two foot space. I mean, it's it takes up very little space. And I've got clutter all over my desk from all the parts and pieces of things that I've built and taken apart <laughs> everywhere. Uh, I mean, it comes with the territory. But, you know, as, as it sits, we're talking, you know, a fast computer, good processors, good software, good everything, but there's a few things you have to tweak. You have to tweak the, the USBs, you have to delete that color program. I mean, you can, you can set uh, it to ignore that program because all it is is the color controller. But, you know, there, there, there are people out there that are super worried about it. And I, I can understand that, you know. But it is what it is. It's a mini PC. They don't say that it's going to be the greatest. I mean, we're 
we're talking, you know, entry level to, you know, top tier, and it's it's slightly above mid-level. Slightly above. Uh, it, there's a lot that could be better on it. Uh, I mean, if, if they let you change out the other things, like if they made this completely moddable, where you could take off, you know, the other side of the panel and change out, you know, different parts, that would be amazing. That'd be fantastic. This thing would be killer if you could change out, you know, the graphics card and stuff like that. Uh, it'd be great if you could do other stuff. But, but with these, you could do the external graphics card if you're running through the USB-C and that, I mean, that's that's great. But there's things that you have to do in order to do that. So it's it's something that builders would do. Uh, but entry level, mid level people, the Ace Magic uh, things are great. They really are. They're they're affordable. They're. I mean, I'm running better on this. The, than a, my friend who's got a different computer that's massive. Uh, it's not a hit on him. It's not you know a hit on his equipment. I mean he's he's got way more followers than I do. He's got more subs. I mean he's been running a lot longer than I have. Uh, you know with that because he's he's gaming and, and all that stuff. And me I'm reviews and rants and raves and and technical stuff. Uh, you know, I, I do the junk stuff. He does the gaming. That's just how it is. But as a product reviewer, uh, the Ace Magician, Ace Magic, mini PCs, I have to give them a 7 out of 10 just because there are things that need to be tweaked on it that, you know, should have been looked at by the the company themselves so that being said hopefully in the next you know couple of months i can get a little bit higher up a little bit more views a little bit uh, more going on here and i mean i'm looking at you know maybe one day maybe one day hitting like the ten thousand view mark uh, on a, a video that way I can I can get in a little bit uh, more of this uh, YouTube partner program money and then use that to fund my projects for for you know reviews. Uh, I'm still gonna put the, the link in the description for my uh, GoFundMe because I'm still I'm still privately funded, but I want to increase it for you guys. You guys uh, know that if you donate whoever the top donators are their names and everything are going to be put on there there you're going to get shout outs you're going to get all this stuff i mean i'm i'm going to do a bunch of stuff for you guys because without you there is no me i mean i'm doing this you know for my mental health and for your enjoyment uh the sooner i go crazy the better the, the view videos are for you guys i mean that's just how it's going to be. So uh, see you guys on the next one.